Hi, welcome to a short video on how to use Claymation Studio 2.0. The Claymation Studio software is based on the concept of stop motion animation. That's a process by which multiple still frames are recorded of an object or character, each with slight changes of pose or position made by hand. When these images are played back rapidly, the illusion of continuous motions created, resulting in animation. Claymation Studio lets you easily capture and produce your very own stop-motion animation right on your PC. In this video, we'll introduce you to Claymation Studio. In two other videos, we'll demonstrate the stop-motion capturing process and then show you how to add special effects and audio. Once you connect your webcam or other digital camera to the PC, you're ready to start. By the way, when we talk about frames in the videos, we mean everything that appears within the viewfinder of your camera. This could include figures, objects, or backgrounds in front of your camera's lens. The main screen of the Claymation Studio program is divided into three basic sections. The Viewer pane is used to view your frames before and after capturing. Above the Viewer pane is the Menu button from which you save, open, or create a new project. The Features panel has four tabs. The first lets you access settings for the camera. Tab number two is called Chroma Key and it lets you digitally add background images to your frame, like the green screen visual effect used on TV weather programs. This tab turns on the rotoscope feature. It helps you align a new frame with a stored image. And the fourth tab in the features panel lets you add audio and music to your animation. The final section of the claymation screen, shown here at the bottom, is called the storyboard. On the left, the control strip lets you switch between the live view from your camera and playback from the storyboard. The play button and record button are in the middle. On the right is the onion skin slider. Now this is a great tool for matching up your last frame captured with the next frame. It adjusts the degree of transparency between the two. And at the very bottom, the storyboard shows all of your captured frames in their current play sequence. In the next video, we'll lead you through creating a simple animation.